So what's keeping you up tonight? A few days ago, my little... A few days... So I can try this again and actually get it going. Right so a few days ago, my little brother Matt drops me the following text. There's an anime I picked up recently called Psychopaths. You would really like it, I think. Really intense Minority Report meets Blade Runner kind of thing. And because my little brother can tempt me with such things with the greatest of ease, I, of course, decide to chase after it like a Labrador going after a tennis ball. Two quick notes on that. One, if you dig Ghost in the Shell, a sci-fi type anime, it's really right up your alley. And two, I absolutely adore Labrador, so I hope they won't be offended that I used them in that analogy. Within about five minutes of firing up the first episode, though, I was immediately hit by what I can only describe as a wave of extreme disappointment. See, about a year ago, I started writing my second novel. It's a speculative sci-fi mystery sort of deal that addresses the nature of criminality and the way that we as a society try to separate those people who are prone to committing such acts from those who aren't. It's a big story and admittedly a rather personal story that I invested a lot of time and energy in. So I wrap up the first draft right around Father's Day. I send it off to my alpha readers for them to take a look at it and I tuck it away with the intention of pulling it out after Labor Day weekend to start my revisions getting ready for my second draft. And then Psychopaths comes along and slaps me right upside the head with the same concept almost and I have to admit it was actually better executed. That in turn got me thinking about how hard it is to create truly unique unique ideas in the digital age. Now allow me to set the Wayback Machine, if I may, for a time when there was no internet. Now I know that's going to be hard for some of you to comprehend, but trust me, that was a long time ago. Uh, kind of like that long, about, yeah, about that long. Now, when I was a kid and there was a cartoon I wanted to see, a book I wanted to read, a toy I wanted to play with, I was really relegated to one of two options. Plead with my mother, which rarely ended well, or hope I could access it another way, which is either through school or my friends or my grandparents' attempts to bribe me in exchange for good afterlife coupons. But of course, as we all know, the internet changed everything. Because now not only can we access stuff in our own backyard, we can get stuff on the other side of the world if we feel so inclined and we could do it in a nanosecond. Right this minute, for example, my brother can go online and fulfill his hankering for both Norwegian speed metal and Japanese bubblegum pop at the exact same time. Yikes. And because we are 7 billion plus people, and because we are so creatively driven, and that means by the law of averages alone, somebody out there is creating something very similar to what you're doing right now. That is a bit of a double-edged sword because as a culture, we are so bent on creating unique and original ideas because we pride ourselves on being unique and original minds. Only now, with the internets to connect us, it is very easy to see somebody in Japan or Sri Lanka or Buenos Aires able to conjure out of the same collective ether something that could easily mirror your seemingly brilliant idea. And while that may seem incredibly disheartening, in reality, it's kind of reassuring. I mean, it's perfectly okay that somebody in Japan came up with a story idea similar to mine at roughly the same time. It doesn't mean they copied me or I copied them or that my novel is ultimately going to be the exact same as their anime. But what it means is that while the internet has expanded everything from commerce to politics to media, it's also expanded the horizons of creativity to the point where we can now access more creative influences than we have ever ever been able to before. Bottom line, I'm still going to probably start my revisions next week. It's just that now I've been exposed to a whole new set of dynamics that I hadn't considered, which I can now consider. I go get some sleep. The sweet dreams when you get there.